Joining us right now is a psychologist who studies this connection, Jacqueline Nisi, who is an assistant professor of psychiatry and human behavior at Brown University. Uh, Jacqueline, first, let's talk about this, uh, the incredible increase we've seen in, in, in depression levels with teenagers. Do you tie that directly back to social media, or, or are there other factors at play as well? Yeah, so thank you for having me. I think that the, the research on this issue is really um, still emerging. So there are a lot of open questions about um, how, men, how social media use impacts mental health among teens. I, I think what we can say from the current evidence is that the impact of social media on mental health really depends a lot on how it's being used and also who's risk using it. So we know that there are both risks uh, real risk to social media use, um, but it's not all bad. There are also benefits, and the impact it's going to have is really going to depend on how it is being used by an individual teen. What I think that means for you know, solutions is that we really need to be thinking about how can we maximize the benefits that we see of social media for teens while minimizing these risks that we really know are present on these platforms. The U.S. Surgeon General really taking a pretty extreme measure, saying we know that almost every teenager uses social media. We don't have any idea if it is safe. And I think the next step is that the Biden administration is saying they're going to take a year to try and figure out what guidelines, what regulations sh should be set. Um, look, this is also fueled, though, by the Facebook papers, the research they did themselves and then chose not to release that that showed that there was a very significant impact on teenagers using it. What should we be doing as parents, as a society? Yeah, so the Surgeon General's advisory really recommends that we take what they call a safety first approach uh, to addressing these issues. And this is something that we already do for other products, you know, things like cars, even children's toys, where until we can really prove that these products are safe for youth, we're putting protections in place to minimize the risk of harm. And I think that's really important for us to do in this case as well. There's also a lot that we know parents can do. Um, of course, though, we know that this can't be on parents alone. Um, it really has to be a multifaceted effort um, from you know, legislative efforts to the tech companies themselves. Um, but a few things that parents can do are things like communicating with their teens about how they're using social media, asking a lot of questions. They can be setting some boundaries around the amount of time they're spending and the types of things they're looking at. And they can also be you know, modeling the types of healthy social media behaviors that they want to be seeing. Um, we know that the way parents use social media plays a big uh, role in how their teens will use it as well. Jacqueline, we're almost out of time, but if, if this is a bigger societal problem, if you can't fix it alone as a parent because you're basically just cutting your kid off from the lifeline every other kid is using, and the Surgeon General is saying this should be a safety first, why the lack of urgency? Why the idea that we're going to take a year to think about it and then maybe we'll give you a few guidelines that you might be able to follow, you maybe should do something? Why this lack of urgency? You know, I think this is a really tricky issue, and I think that we don't necessarily have ideas for the, the best solutions on how to address this. Um, at the same time, I do think that there are some common sense steps that tech companies can take to address these issues. So I think that they can be really prioritizing kids' safety and health as a first principle in designing their platforms. And that's going to include things like protecting children's privacy on the platforms, you know, enforcing age minimums. Um, and I think these things are going to be really important to, to move the needle. I'm sure they'll talk a lot about it. We'll see if they actually do anything. Jacqueline, thank you.